guys, we're going to show you how to make these really quick. Um, this The pattern came off of Facebook. I wish I knew who came up with this idea. It's a great idea for those, for the nurses and the first responders and people on the front lines who are wearing masks all the time. This will save their ears. Um, if you know who came up with this, please tag them. Let me know. Send me a message, something. I would love to credit them for this. Um, I don't know who came up with it. The person whose Facebook post that I got it off of said that it was in one of her groups. So there's no telling. Um, anyway, you're going to start out with worsted weight yarn, cotton. You're going to need a couple of buttons and a five millimeter crochet hook. We're going to start out by chaining 20. Keep it pretty consistent. and 20. I'm using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn. So we're going to half double crochet into the third chain from the hook, but I'm going to do it into the back hump. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to find the third one. One, two, three. Okay, so yarn over and go into that back hump right there. Pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops on your hook. Okay, let's do it again. So yarn over, go through the back hump, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through again. And do that all the way down. But do not do it in the last stitch. One more hump left. We're going to put three half double crochet stitches into that one little hump. So here's one. And here's two. And here is three. And all that did was it gave us a place to turn. So the first one I made, I sewed this down. I crocheted it underneath all the stitches. But actually this time I'm gonna leave it out because I'm gonna use that to sew my button on this end. So we're gonna keep on and we're gonna do half double crochet, the exact same thing, but we're gonna go down this end, this side. And the reason that I went into the back, I don't know if you can tell, is because now I have a normal chain. And it's gonna make it easier to do those stitches down this side. So let's go ahead and let's do this. So we've already used that that one right there. We've already yarned over and we're going to go into that one that's right past the knot. It's a little bit tight, but you can do it. You might have to wiggle it, but it'll go. And then we're going to go all the way down to the other end. to the end. Now, what we can do, if you don't want to continue on with the three half double crochet, you could slip stitch right there into that one. So let's try that. If you don't know what a slip stitch is, we're just going to 
go in to this top one right here, and that was your turning chain. So we're gonna go into that right there. Now don't go under it, because if you go under it, you're gonna leave a big hole. So just go through those two, underneath those two top, the two V's. And so you should have one right there. So there's the V's, and then there's the back of that stitch. So go between there and pull yarn over and pull a loop out. It's tight. So pull a loop out. And then you see you have two. So we're not gonna yarn over because that's a single crochet. We don't need to do that. So there you go, you have two. Now pull that one through there. And now you have a rounded end. Okay. That's probably the easiest way to finish that. So leave you a pretty long tail, slip it off, and pull it through. Okay? and you're good to go. A little stretch to them, and they'll wash up in the laundry well. So good luck, I hope this helped. And our prayers go out for everyone.